What's up traders, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you our latest live trading session using a simple one minute battery option trading strategy using a couple of indicators as confirmation for identifying profitable positions. And of course, as we do with all of our videos, we're gonna share with you the live training footage, review the results and break down the rules and indicators for that strategy so that way you can test it out for yourself and see if this is a strategy you wanna to implement to your trading. But in addition to using properly rules-based strategies that help you make money in these markets, we're also gonna share with you some simple concepts Concepts to preserve the money you're making as well. Concepts that will help you grow and gradually compound your profits while at the same time minimizing the risk exposed to your money. If you enjoyed today's video and gain any value, like our video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to check out our trading resources down below in the video description. But without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, if you have any questions or need help, feel free to comment down below. You can also reach me directly via email or telegram. You can access all my official contact information down below in the video description. We're going to start this off by sharing with you our live training footage that way you can see the strategy unfold in a live market environment you'll be able to verify the trades that we had taken during the session review the results we'll share with you the rules so that way you can apply this strategy to your trading and then like i said share with you some concepts to preserve the profits you're making so let's roll the footage So as you saw from the footage, it was a pretty decent session where we had several profitable trades mixed in with some tight trades, closing the session with our first and final loss for Euro GBP. Now, compared to most times, this session actually took a little bit longer than expected. As you can see from the timestamps, our first trade entry was at 14.53 and our last trade was about an hour later at 15.43. Nine trades in total, we had three tie trades. So just to clarify, if you ever get a tie trade, you don't win any money, but you don't lose any money either. You just get your initial investment for that trade returned to your account. So it kind of cancels itself out. So in total, we had five profitable trades and one loss, giving us an 83% win rate and a profit return of over $3,500. Euro USD and USD GPY were our best performing currencies, whereas with Euro GBP, we had a 50% win rate as a result of that last trade ending in a loss. Now, the strategy itself is very simple because we're using crossovers of our moving averages to help us identify the momentum of the direction of the market at the time we are trading. So first and foremost, we are on a 30 second chart. So if you come here to the time frames, you could select S30. That just means every candlestick represents a 30 second time period of price data 
data. Since we're on the 30 second time frame, we're targeting one minute expirations for our trades. Now, keep in mind, you can use different time frames and expirations. So if you wanted to use a one minute time frame, you could do that. But for your expirations, you want to change that to a two to three minute expiry time, depending on the volatility of the market. If you wanted to use a five minute time frame, you'd want to target 10 to 15 minutes for your expirations, right? But for this session and for the majority of time that I use this strategy, I like to use the 30 second time frame targeting one minute expiries. Now, if you come to the indicators, we're going to be using three moving averages. First moving average is set to a period of two, and this is going to be our white moving average. Second moving average is set to a period of five. This is going to be our pink moving average. And our third and final moving average is going to be set to a period of 200, and this is going to be our green one. Now, like I said, the rules of the strategy are very simple because we're applying a moving average crossover concept. And when we're looking for buy trades, we want our two moving average to cross above our five. So based off of my colors, we want our white moving average to cross above the pink. Once you have the crossover, you enter for a one minute trade. One, two, this would have been a profitable buy. But if you're looking for a sell trade, you want your two moving average to cross below the five, as you can see here. Once you have the crossover, enter for a sell. One, two, it would have closed here below your sell trade entry, which would have resulted in a profitable sell position. However, when you looking for your buys and sells, you want to place trades according to the trend that you're in. So if you're in a seller's market, only look for sell trades. If you're in a buyer's market, only look for buy trades. And this is where the 200 moving average comes into play. When the price is above your 200 moving average, you're in a buyer's market. There's buyer's momentum. So in these scenarios, you only want to be looking for buy trades. So you would ignore any of the sell signals you receive and only look for buy trade entries. But if price is below your 200 moving average, you're in a seller's market, so you would ignore any buy signals because that would be counter trend trading and only focus on sell signals provided by the moving averages. Now there's one final indicator you could apply to this strategy and that is the stochastics. These are gonna be customized settings as well where your KP is gonna be set to five, three and three. Now you can use the stochastics as an added level of confluence to confirm your crossovers. For instance, if you get a sell signal from the moving averages and at the time you get the sell signal, your stochastics are overbought with crossover and downward momentum. That's an added level of confluence to confirm price is most likely going to go down. So you would enter for a one minute sell. But if you're in a buyer's market and you get a buy signal from those moving averages, you, you could use the stochastics to confirm those buy entries. If you have crossover and upward momentum in the same region of your moving average crossovers. This is to further validate those potential buy trade entries. So like I said, the rules of the strategy are very simple. If you want to try this out for yourself, back test it on a demo account. We have links to free demo accounts, which you can access down below in the video description. But by using this very basic but simple woman strategy, allowed us to capitalize five profitable wins and only one loss resulting in a $3,500 profit. Now, the big question is this, why did I stop trading after our first and final loss of the session. I mean, granted, when you look at the results, overall, we did very well. Majority of our trades were wins with the mixture of some ties, but we only had a one loss. Why did I stop trading after that one loss when we were doing very well? Well, because we reached a 5% growth on our account. And this is a key element that I want you guys to understand from this video. Remember, and this is very important. Binary option trading is not about taking as many trades as possible or trading for as long as you can. Because remember, the longer you stay exposed to these markets, the more of a chance you have of losing the money you have in your account or damaging the profits you've made. Yes, I could have taken more trades because we were doing well during the session, but I decided not to because we had already reached a 5% growth on our account. Accounts. As a trader, you need to set for yourself a percentage, right? Not a dollar amount, but a percentage of how much you want to earn on a daily basis. When you reach that percentage, stop trading, all right? And be realistic. Your target goals for the day, depending on your skill level, should be between two and 5%. With a $3,500 return, we surpassed that goal. When you reach your goal, stop trading. There are too many videos out there that encourage over leveraging and over trading. And yes, on one side, you could argue that if I kept on trading, I could have made more profits. But that also goes hand in hand, that if I continued to trade, I would have damaged the profits that I had already earned. So remember that the longer you trade on any given session or on any given day doesn't mean that you're going to make more money. That goes hand in hand with the risk that you can lose whatever profits you have accumulated. Another prime example of knowing when to walk away and securing the profits that you made was our last session that we had over a week ago during the NFP, where as you can see here, we capitalized over $4,200 
in one trade. Now, mind you, this was on a Friday. So we already had a couple of sessions earlier that week. We had already achieved our profit goal for that week. So when we had our NFP and made $4,200 on one trade, I had already achieved and surpassed my profit goal for that week. So I didn't trade last week. Why? To preserve the profits that we had made the week prior. And yes, if I did trade last week, I could have made more profits. But that also goes hand in hand with the risk that if I did trade last week, I could have risked and damaged the profits that I made the week prior, especially since I had already reached my goal. This is something I go into more detail in my free trading, which you can access down below. Avoid the temptation of over trading. I see it happen more times than not. People would do very well throughout the day, throughout the week, but they get so excited. They get, they get caught up in the excitement of making money in these markets that they push it to the limit. They over trade. They don't follow their trading plan. They don't follow the risk management. And what happens? They end up blowing their accounts. They end up damaging the profits. And then they sit back with regret and wish they had just stopped when they had the chance. I know many of you watching this video can relate to that same scenario. It's not about trading all day long. It's about trading during a certain time period that you have set for yourself. And when you reach your target goal, your percentage, stop trading for the day. Don't underestimate the power of how quickly your account can grow when you are earning two to 3% per day and you gradually compound those earnings. It's a powerful concept that allows you to grow your account in a more stabilized manner, but unfortunately, it's a concept that most people tend to ignore. Like I said, to go into a little bit more detail about this in our free training, which you can access down below. And don't forget to check out our trading community. You want to learn how to trade the binary option market successfully? Join my mentorship where I teach you my own trading methods on how I navigate the Forex and binary markets. You can click the links down below or visit our website anytime. All right, traders, that concludes our video for today. Again, if you have any questions, reach out anytime. Don't forget to check out our trading resources down below in the video description. I want to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you enjoyed it, gained some value. And of course, if you want to check out some of our other recent uploads, you can check out any of these videos. And I look forward to seeing you on the next time. Take care.